Good afternoon, welcome to Rest and Rec. I'm Church. In this video, I'm going to show you what I keep inside of my personal vehicle. All right, so I'm gonna try and do this with some diligence. I'm gonna go all the way around the car, starting with the driver's seat. So first thing I have in the side pocket is an umbrella. All right, coming on down, I have a mag light. This mag light is great to have here because it fits and whenever I'm using it, well, I used it just the other night whenever we were looking for our campsite, this is a very strong concentrated beam. You use this in lieu of using headlights whenever you're trying to look out the window for something. Also, if you're ever in a situation where someone's trying to break into your car with you inside, mag lights double as a personal defense tool. Also in the side pocket, I have my headlamp. Just in case I'm out somewhere, it's nighttime and I blow a tire. Oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. I said Let's move a seat to the rear. All right, kicking it in the back seat. All right, what do we have back here? In the seats, in the door, nothing. What do we have under the driver's seat? Very important, bottle waters. Now, I hear you. Church, man, you can't keep bottled waters in the car like that. Like, plastic's gonna get into the water with heat and time. I hear you, but at the same time, this is worst case scenario. If it's down to a survival situation, look, I'm not Bear grills. I'm gonna drink contaminated plastic water over my own piss. All right, the main payload area, also known as civilians, is simply the trunk. Man, this spot feels really familiar to me for some reason. Now, the key here is to keep everything as organized as possible. All right, what do we have in here? Jumper cables, very essential. Tire repair kit. Emergency e-tool. So these things are awesome. This is good in case you get stuck somewhere. You need to uh, dig yourself out of the situation. Hearing protection, spare lunchbox. Coming to the other side, sunscreen and bug spray. Very important to have. I've been asked for these things multiple times on multiple outings. First aid kit. Now, this is a little bit more extensive than the one that I keep in my backpack. Like this has my army IFAC in it with a tourniquet, bandages, tape, masks, CPR masks. Lots of Band-Aid, lots of Neosporin, sealed bandages. And you want to make sure you're going through this stuff because medical stuff expires and it's exposed to the elements. This stuff can go bad. Check it periodically. This, I'll go over this more in detail. This is something that I recommend everybody have in their car. I can't tell you how many times this thing has come in handy where we've been at a beautiful site. We couldn't find anybody to take our picture. You can set this up anywhere and your camera just takes amazing photos. Small hygiene bag, just in case of emergencies. I have body spray, razors, toothbrush, toothpaste. You know, just simple things, just in case you're out and about and you need it. Blankets, very important. I personally have two of them back here. Chances are, if you've got a woman in the car, she's gonna get cold. I'm cold too. Well, damn, Jackie, I can't control the weather. Blankets are very important for this. Also, if you've got a boomstick in the back that you don't want the world to know about, boom, blanket. Snacks, also very important if you plan on bringing the uh, fair sex with you on a trip. There's a massive spider right on the camera. A drawstring bag, just in case you need to pack some of this stuff up with you and go on a hike. A window scraper for those icy mornings. Poncho, fire starters, spare lint roller in case you got dogs at home, and ratchet straps. Another thing that most people forget to check on is the spare tire and the spare tire toolkit. Is make sure that tire is actually there. If you have a pressure gauge, you check it. Make sure the tools are actually present. 
and that the jack is present and it works. It doesn't take long to check and make sure the tools are one, actually present, two, you know how to work the tools, and three, do the tools actually work? People are out here buying these used cars and don't even know if this stuff is even in the car. When you're out in the middle of nowhere with a flat tire is not the time to find out that you don't have the tools that you need, your spare tire is missing, or the tools that you have are broken. Because you don't want to end up the way I did in Guatemala in some back road in a rental car with a flat tire and no cell phone service. <laughs> that was a great time. I might make a story out of that. All right, I'm gonna show you how to pack every bit of this into the trunk and still have a lot of room to spare. And all you need is a duffel bag. So the main duffel, we're gonna push it all the way to the back. Now my first aid bag, I keep that separate. I'm gonna put this over here in this side pocket. Then I'm going to put my hearing protection over here, along with the lunch box and my jumper cables and tire repair kit. I'm going to go right back here next to the duffel bag. But as you can see with the use of trunk dividers and the duffel bag, we've cleared out a lot of space. All right, what's behind door number three? Paper towels, and that's it, next door. All right, the passenger side, what do we have here? Poncho. Normally I have a spare umbrella in here, but uh, these little umbrellas, they're cheap, they break a lot. Still working on a replacement for now. If you're the passenger, you're getting a poncho. What's this? Another headlamp? Why yes, you can't have too many headlamps. I'm gonna keep stocking up on these bad boys. My goal is to one day have one in every single room. That way I'm never more than 10 feet away from a headlamp. <laughs> Business card holder. Now, just like the trunk, part of the organization of your glove compartment is having some type of little bag. Now, before you judge me for this little US Army bag, just know this was free and that's it. It was free, so can't be free. All right, so what do we have in here? Got a pen, something to write with, and a pad, something to write on. Open up this main compartment. An AC to DC power adapter. This is also where I keep all my paperwork which is up to date, mind you. I'm not one of those people who holds on to like 10 years worth of driver's registrations on my car. I also have a tire gauge. Not one of those cheap ones that like double as a magnet. No, you need to get a good one. All right, in the side here, I'm telling you this in hopes that anybody who knows me isn't gonna try and rob my car, but I always keep cash, about $20 worth of cash on hand in ones and a few quarters, just in case there's parking that doesn't have a card swipe or in case there's like a street vendor or any number of things. It's always good to have like a little bit of cash on hand that's not in your wallet. Also keep a spare set of sunglasses in here just in case the passenger starts getting blinded. Got these gender neutral ones since Courtney's usually the ones riding over here. And my car's instruction manual. All right, what else, what else? That might be everything that I have. Okay, so that's all the things that I have in my car. Now let's go over the things that I don't have in my car. Any more boomsticks than I actually need. Guys, this is very important. Your car is not your rolling armory. While talking about boomsticks, easily seen boomsticks. What's that uh, Vulcan quick draw? It looks really awesome. Maybe there's some practicality to it, but to have a boomstick right out in the open where anybody who's peering in through the windows can see it, I don't know. Seems like you're setting yourself up to be robbed. Wet wipes. I used to keep wet wipes in here, but they get dried out and a dried out wet wipe is perfectly worthless. Visible cash. People like to keep cash and coins in their uh, coin pocket right here. Don't do it. People can peer in through the windows. They'll see that. Oh, one last thing I recommend. So I think that you should have a list, a list of all the things that you have in the car. Like I have a personal list, I'd show it to you, but it's on my phone. It's a list of all the things I have in here. That way, if I'm ever like packing for a trip and I'm like, man, where are my extra blankets? I'm like, oh yeah, I've got two of them out in the car. It's my Listen, Centro. Anyway, I hope this video helped you uh, 
stock your vehicle. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to message me or put it in the comments section below. If you like content like this, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a new video. Until next time, church out.